That was one of the great sports moments in my life. And uh, so that's really all I, best way I can put it. Um, and then I'll open it up for any questions you guys have. Does the win against Georgia prepare you to, for this degree of resiliency against a team like Kansas? You know, we've had leads and we played really good teams already. And, and obviously we had the deficit of Georgia and it's tough to play on the road. And they have both Georgia and Bandy a very good crowd. So when you play and have that adversity, I'm sure it, it, it helps some. But I, we just have, we have tough kids that, you know, got big time grit and, and heart and uh, believe in themselves, you know, really confident kids. and. And they're, they're as hard a working group as I've had. And if they didn't work that hard, they wouldn't have the confidence to go out and, and do what they did tonight. Speaking of confidence, I mean, getting to the rim. I mean, you were able to get there just missing those shots. What were you saying during timeouts just to kind of calm them down and start hitting those? Yeah, we just wanted to keep defending in the second half and, and focusing on that end of the floor. And <clears throat> we changed some things up at halftime with, with Lawson just to try and make his touches a little more difficult and give him more attention. And uh, just wanted them to keep shooting jump shots. And, and, if, and we thought if we could force them to shoot contested jump shots, we have a good chance. And I, you know, we kept saying like, hey, we're, you know, we're right there. We're down three, we're down five, we're down seven, whatever it was. And you know, we're missing a lot of layups. We're missing free throws. So, you know, we're we're right there. We just gotta we just gotta stay in the fight. When you decided to start doubling Lawson, was that an easy decision, just given what he had already been doing, or what's the calculus of that? It's just you know he was he had 18 and 8 at halftime, and, and uh, he's, he's he's very skilled. He's one of the most skilled you know front court players that, that I've I've uh, seen you know, certainly this year. So it's. Um, we knew we had to give more support to that, and and then hope that we could rotate properly, and and uh, and then and then uh, you know make someone else beat us because he was on pace to put up, uh, and he still finished with 30, I guess. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, I, I don't know more than that. That's great, but this was just a huge moment, you know, for for our basketball program. And uh, you know, I remember when I first started, you know, my first couple of games here, and and to see what it's like now it's just it's it's unreal and uh so to have have these memories and for our players to have it it's 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 terrific and uh you know I, the crowd was was dynamic it was on 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 off the charts uh in terms of, of the electricity in, in that building and you know two teams you know fought extremely hard to they you know felt like a you know an ncaa tournament game for something real important and that's the caliber of of athletes and and, uh, and basketball players on the floor tonight. How do you come to point that? Well, I mean, it wasn't, I, we thought, and, and I framed it with the guys, but I was hoping we could make some shots in the second half, but to be shooting that number and, and to be only down eight points, you know, I, I looked at it as more of a positive that, um, that we were that close, it could have been a lot worse. Coach, it seemed like at no point did your team ever look like they felt like they wanted to, like they should, uh, not should win. They always played with the confidence. This was their game. It was just a matter of going on a run. How do they always dig deep and come up with that? Just have, you know, again, just high level players. I mean, we got guys that, that in games like this, we're not at a, a talent, at a disadvantage from a talent standpoint. It's, uh, you know, when you have guys that can make plays the way we can and, uh, you know, Remy was one for six in, in the first half and, and came out and made, you know, a couple of biggest shots in the game. Rob Edwards, who's been through so much with injury stuff, he, uh, you know, he, he was so clutched down the stretch, uh, you know, making free throws and, and big shots. Um, and then Zylan is always the stability that he brings as, as a guy that's like been through all these wars and there won't be another guy that could guard as many guys on the floor as he can and rebound the way he does and just have such an overall like impact on, on what we do. Maybe, maybe one of the overlooked stats of the night, uh, Tayshawn Cherry, four steals. Kansas had six as a team. Yeah, Tay is is, uh, is way more than, than a shooter. I mean, he's got a great shot and he made a couple threes in the first half, but he's, uh, you know, he plays hard and he, and he rebounds and, uh, you know, he's just scratching the surface, you know, for where he'll be as as, as his career continues to develop. Bobby, I apologize if you're answering this, but what all did you do in the second half to Lawson to kind of limit his uh, his looks? Because he was in a pretty good pretty good rhythm. Yeah, we uh, well, you look at the stat sheet and you see the numbers, and then you say, all right, well, you know, 
we did some things well. We're down eight, but this guy, I mean, I can't watch this again in, in the second half. So, you know, we, first of all, it was, it was mellow, too, with, with just working a little bit harder to make his catches a little further away, more difficult. And then from there, we were just trying to, to go to him and, and double him whenever we could. And we had a, a designated guy to, to go and do that, um, to try and get the basketball out of his hands. What about the second chance opportunities? I think there was like a stretch where you had uh, Lake and White had like three in a row where you just got second chances and were to the free throw line, just that, that persistence of that. Yeah, it was just a relentless way that we, you know, guys going after the basketball, just not assuming someone's going to make the shot. And we, you know, again, we missed a lot of layups that I think normally we would make. And, and, and uh, so we had no choice but to do that. And, and uh, it meant a lot to the guys. Like every, I think we battled as hard as we could. Every every possession, they we we went all in. They went all in, and they uh, they gave uh, they gave everything they had to them. You mentioned you mentioned missed free throws and missed layups, but you stayed in the fight. How's it feel to win a big time game like this, showing resilience in this type of way? Yeah, I just again, I uh, we it all started kind of last year, just with the year that we had and. Uh, and the seniors and, and, and how they flipped the script for, for ASU. And, and, and we had players that were in the program that, that went through that year and, and it was valuable for us. And we had our transfers, Zylan and Rob sitting out and, and, and they got a taste of seeing what we were doing. And, and I think that's helped us in, in these games and in, in these uh, close games. Mississippi State game was another example. We had a huge lead in that one. And they came all the way back to tie us and, and we, we showed enough poise and execution and, and will to win to, to, to get that victory. And this was kind of similar. There was a lot of adversity in the game and uh, just got a lot of winners in the locker room. You know, even the freshmen, you know, really aren't scared of the moment or intimidated by the moment. And, and they uh, can play at such a high level. So it's it, it was a great team win. You guys seem kind of unfazed by your missing free throws and some turnovers and they just seem unfazed by when something goes wrong. I just think that they're out there playing and then we're we're reminding them that like we're playing pretty well. We just gotta convert some of these shots and that we normally would convert and then you know we're in a great situation. I think as the game wore on, I think we gain more confidence to think that that we should win this game and they just kept staying in it and staying in it and uh and then we, we got our stops and, and rob edwards and remy were, were huge uh just with the shot making late in the game and and that was it was it important to slow them down in the second half yeah well, they did get out in, in transition you know too much in the first half and they were able to to score and uh you know and we were doing some uncharacteristic things. We left our feet sometimes. We'd throw the ball, you know, different places. So we weren't really, from any standpoint, anywhere near what we needed to be in the first half on offense. But <clears throat> the defense kind of kept us in enough that it was that we were in striking distance. Did you feel Kansas transition defense was really something that was hard to overcome the whole 40 minutes? Um, I'm sorry, I said the, the, the transition defense that Kansas presented 40 minutes. Is that something that really just made it harder on you guys on offense in general? I, I'm not sure on that one. Uh, I, I just I think that you know I think our depth helped us. You know they 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 didn't go as deep into their bench, and we we were able to really get a good distribution of minutes. And I thought we were fresh, you know, late in the game, you know, to make enough plays. But I don't think I answered your question. In, in, <laughs> including you, did everyone come out of the celebration unscathed? Yeah, I think everyone's on their way to the airport right now. So. Uh, <laughs> There's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of happy guys flying, you know, through the night to uh, to their families to uh, to have a great Christmas. It makes Christmas uh, so much better. Yeah. So it was uh, a great scene in our locker room. We had a lot of support uh, from from you know President Crow and, and Ray Anderson, and and uh, it was a tremendous celebration. You know, got to see Jason Kidd and. And uh, Michael Phelps and Grant Hill, my former guy. So it was just, it was, it was a fun, uh, fun few minutes in the locker room. Coach, any chance you saw Zion's reaction at the end there after Rob tracked down the loose ball before he got fouled at the free throws? Well, it's, when you say his reaction, what do you mean? Yeah, Zion was happy. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you could describe what you saw from. Him. Yeah, I mean, I just at the end, like when the buzzer sounds, then then I'm then I'm done, and then I'm uh, <laughs> and then I'll be happy. But uh, I I didn't notice that. I was kind of thinking. 
you know, what else, you know, could happen from this point on. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we were talking about, you know, what ifs, you know, what if Rob would have missed both? What if Rob makes one out of two? You know, and what if he makes both? So, I mean, just all different scenarios that, that would happen in a game that could be two points, three points, or four points. And you touched on to Sean, but it seemed like when defensively, especially when he was in the game with Romello, he's, kind of, he's taking more chances getting the turnovers. Is that obviously on the defensive end of the court something you're looking for that he, met, he meshes well with Romello? Yeah, we just wanted to see him. You know, he was active. He had the one steal on the baseline. I thought it was really good, just anticipating, rotating over. And um, yeah, he did a lot of great things for freshmen and uh, you know, big threes. And uh, so he's, yeah, he's, he's a guy that's going to have a big impact on, on what we do this year.